Brothers, twin brothers, Luemba and Mavungu. But as they grew, they came to be very different. Luemba was strong and handsome. Mavungu was weak and homely. Their mother loved Luemba more. Mavungu was very unhappy. One night, he left his home. place in the river where a large tree grew. It was so thick he could not pass. When he pulled the leaves, he heard a voice. He was puzzled and pulled again. Mavungu was astonished. he pulled a leaf, a strange person appeared. The last to appear was a beautiful girl, a princess. She thanked Mavungu for releasing her people from the magic tree. She said that she would care for him. She thought, I want to be his wife, but he is so homely. Again, she thought, I want to be his wife, but he is dressed in rags. very happy.
After a time, they came to a wide place in the river. The princess created a magnificent village. Changed vows of love, but she made him promise he must never reveal the source of his wealth and happiness. He must never tell the secret of the magic tree. Time passed, and Mavungu thought of his family. He sent a messenger for his mother and his brother. When they came, he treated them kindly. His mother was curious. She asked Mavungu the secret of his new life. Mavungu began to explain. Then he remembered his promise. He said goodbye to his mother and his brother. Time passed. Mavungu could not forget his family. He returned to visit them. his mother. You left me long ago. Tell me of your new life. And so Mavungu forgot his promise to the people of the magic tree. He spoke. When I ran away, I found a canoe in the river. I traveled down the river until I came to a large tree. I pulled on the leaves of the tree, and each leaf became a person. I married the princess of the magic tree, and she made a magnificent village. I have been very happy there. magic tree is told. The people of the Congo ask, why did Mavungu forget those who loved him? Why did he honor those who did not love him at all? <laughs> <laughs> 